Right, for the first part of this question, we've got to find CD. So we'll mark that as X. We've only got one angle to do at the moment, but we can easily find CB, so we'll do that first. So CB is in the right angle triangle, it's one of the smaller sides. So we need to take the square root of the large side squared, which is 8 squared, minus the small side that we have, which is 3 squared. CB comes to square root 55. So I'll put that in there. And now we now have a right angle triangle where we know one side, we have an angle, and we need to find the other side. So we can use straightforward trigonometry to do this. So we use this sine rule as we've been given the opposite and the hypotenuse to work with. So we know then that root 55, the opposite, divided by x will equal sine of 50 degrees. So we rearrange that equation to make x the subject, and we'll get x equals the square root of 55 over sine 50, which when you round it to three significant figures comes to 9.68, and that's our length CD. In the second part of the question, we're trying to find the length CE. Um, it's not a right angle triangle, but we've got two side lengths. We've got 9.68 and 19. We don't appear to have an angle, but it's very easy to find one. We know that the angle here is right angle, so the angle then between uh, C, whatever this is, and E is going to be 40. So to find CE, we'll call that X, we can use the cosine rule. So the cosine rule tells us then that x will equal the square root of, quite a long expression, but you can just use the formula at the front of the book. So it'll be 9.68 squared minus 19 squared, sorry, plus 19 squared minus 2 times 9.68 times 19 times cos 40. And if you enter that into the calculator exactly as I've shown you, come out with the correct answer, which when you round it down to one decimal place, or three significant figures, you'll get the answer 13.1. Like 13.1 to three significant figures. That's your answer for CE, the last part of the question.